Hey, what's going on guys? Josh from Trail Build, and we are super honored to bring to you guys a first look and a first drive review of BF Goodrich's brand new trail terrain. So this would be a tire for the majority of you that do spend most of your time driving on the road, but there is the occasional off-road adventure, whether it be a gravel road or a two-track dirt trail, logging trail, maybe something like that, but you don't plan on spending a whole lot of time off the road. One thing you can notice too guys right off the bat here is you can see the traditional KO2 sort of sidewall design on these side biters here. Obviously they're not going to be as aggressive as like what the KO2 is, but if you do get into a situation where you're in some mud or some sand or something more loose debris on the trail, these sidewalls are also going to help get you out of those sort of situations. And then another thing I really like with what they did here is on the shoulder lugs, you can see here that there is one continuous line of shoulder lugs here and it's not separated in between the shoulder lugs and why they did that is for on road quietness. This tire actually rides down the road really quietly. We just got these installed on my Highlander because that's the sort of perfect in-betweener car where it's all-wheel drive and won't see a whole bunch of off-road but still here in Wisconsin we get winters we have two track trails up north and upper peninsula we have snow we have ice we have rain we have just a combination of different things so we're going to put this tire to the test really give you guys some great real world feedback off-road and on-road as well in fact right after we go through some of the characteristics we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this thing for a drive and show you guys how well it does out on the road but first of all when we're looking at the tread design on here what bfg looked at most is performance on the road so they're looking at quietness they're looking at traction they're looking at braking traction and they're looking at severe winter driving conditions. The other thing is too is they have plenty of tread voids in between all of the tread lugs. The treads on here are designed in a variable pitch pattern so that way the treads are, are continuously contacting the road giving it that nice smooth quiet ride to it. So with the continuous shoulder lugs and the way the tread lugs are positioned on the tread, on the center of the tread, uh, gives it that really quiet ride performance. And then with all the siping, the different tread voids on here, it's gonna give that extra traction in that more severe weather situation, regardless if it's rain, or even if you're off road, if you're in the sand or mud or dirt, gravel, whatever it may be, the extra siping and these uh, tread voids in here are really gonna help with that extra traction. BFG, I think they really nailed it out of the park with this trail terrain. You're gonna see it compete against tires like the Falcon AT3Ws or the Toyo AT3s. To be really that crossover type of tire, but you're spending most of your time on the road. And again, by no means is it meant to replace the KO2 as that is still the pinnacle off-road, on-road sort of balanced tire, whereas this is gonna spend most of its time on the road. But if you got kayaks on, or you got the boat on, and you're looking to get to some more remote locations, or you're going camping, overlanding, this is a perfect tire for those types of situations where you still wanna maintain that perfect on-road balance of comfort and performance, and yet still get to those sort of remote locations. This is a perfect tire to do that with. And guys, we're gonna be doing a whole heck of a lot more testing with this tire, showing you guys on-road and off-road performance, and we're gonna start right now. Let's go. Now, these particular ones that I have on here now are just passenger, so they're not light truck or anything like that. In fact, the trail terrains are not gonna be coming out in any type of LT-rated uh, size anytime in the near future or maybe at all because that's what the BFG, the KO2 all-terrain is going to be for, that more heavier duty market. So I don't really think we're comparing apples to apples here. We're more like apples to oranges. These are going to be a lot quieter. They're more designed for on-road use than anything else. And I can definitely notice it. I mean, right off the bat here, just getting up to highway speeds for the first time with these trail terrains on here, I can definitely tell there's a major difference between the Kenda Cleavers and these BFG trail terrains. It's a lot quieter, a lot smoother on the highway. The car's handling really nice. I'm not feeling all the bumps in the road. So I'm really thoroughly impressed already. Now, we're gonna be doing a few more tests on these trail terrains 
I really want to see how their performance is in the winter time because they are three peak mountain snowflake rated for severe winter driving situations. And up here in Wisconsin, we've got about six months worth of cold weather temperatures. And then within that about four to five months of snow filled months. And I drive about a half an hour to work. It's about 25 miles to work. The road conditions can get pretty darn nasty so it's really one of the main reasons I'm building this Highlander up a little bit is to be able to handle the winter months in Wisconsin I think they're gonna do really well because they have a ton of siping on them they have uh, plenty of tread grooves in between all the treads plenty of tread voids in between all the treads and I think they're gonna be able to evacuate the snow um, handle on the ice really well the sipes that they have in these trail terrains are a 3d siping which it just means that, so if picture yourself standing in a canyon and on both sides of you are different layers of rocks, right? So it's sort of the same thing that's going on in between the sipes. They're not just a perpendicular straight up and down sipe wall. They actually have different layers to help with when the tread block flexes, the, the 3D sipes sort of interlock with each other to help with not only like water and snow evacuation out of those sipes, but it also helps with strengthening up that uh, tread block with the sipe in it so that they can go deeper with the sipes and um, being that they can go deeper with the sipes pretty much down to the base of the tread block, it allows the tires to be three peak mountain snowflake rated throughout the duration or the life of the tire. There are other tires out there that claim three peak mountain snowflake rated or three pms rated but after a few thousand miles ten thousand miles whatever it is and depends on how you drive those sipes no longer are doing their job to get that three peak mountain snowflake rating so you always got to be careful with that and make sure that it is a three pms uh, rated tire that the sipes go down to basically the base of the tread block to make sure that 3 PMS rating stays with the tire throughout the duration or life of that tire. So that's another really huge advantage to these trail terrains because uh, they do. The sipes go down to the tread blocks, down to the base of the tread blocks, and these will be 3 PMS rated throughout the duration of the tire, which these are warranted up to 60,000 miles, which is really great for a 3 PMS rated tire because when one of the criteria to getting a 3 PMS rating is the tread compound and the BFG trail terrains are mixed together with a blend of silica and rubber and they are gonna be uh, more slightly on the softer side to help with the tire from getting too hard or brittle when it gets really cold out. Uh, just having a 60,000 mile warranty on a 3 PMS rated tire is really good just shows the quality of the tire and the manufacturer making the tire another thing too is we just turned on a little bit more of a bumpy road there's a lot more cracks in this road and i've got the tire pressure set at 32 which is the factory recommended tire pressure setting for this vehicle and i can tell it's a lot quieter and not so dramatic with these tires with the trail terrains over the Kenda Cleaver RTs and when I did get the uh, trail terrains put on these new Anthem wheels I also did weigh the trail terrains with the Anthem wheels compared to the um, Kenda Cleaver RTs and the Kenda Cleaver RTs with the Anthem Vipers that are on here now they were 88 pounds which is pretty decent for a 265 70 17 and then when I weighed the Anthem Vipers with these new trail trains on here it was only 73 pounds so I'm also losing 15 pounds per corner which is 60 pounds overall um, obviously makes a big difference in the suspension and the drivetrain components of this vehicle being that it is a, a CUV SUV it's a crossover uh, SUV so it's not really designed to handle that much weight in each corner so 
I can tell the even the ride's just a little bit smoother with the suspension and um, and obviously the quietness of the trail terrains on here compared to the RTs. I mean, the RTs are great, especially LTs, if you have a pickup truck, if you have an overlanding vehicle, whether, regardless if it's a Jeep, 4Runner, Tacoma, for handling all that extra weight. With an E-load rate, weight rating, you're not gonna have to worry so much about overheating the sidewalls or overloading the tire's weight capacities. Whereas passenger rated vehicle tires, you know, they're gonna be a little bit more sensitive to how much weight you can actually put on them. Now, all the weight ratings and everything else, you'll be able to find them right on our website when you're looking at the trail terrains. We have all the specs listed under each individual tire size, what load rating it is, uh, what speed index it is, and any, pretty much any other spec that you're looking for on the tire itself, tread depth and everything else. We're gonna be doing a lot of testing on these trail terrains as we get to put more miles on them. Um, we'll be able to give some more feedback as to, you know, in 5,000 miles, how have they performed off-roading, how have they performed. So we're going to give all that feedback to you guys. So if you are looking to get a tire that, you know, you may not be purposely looking to go off-roading with, but let's say you got the kayaks on and you're looking to go, you know, it might be a two-mile two-track or logging trail down to where you wanna go kayaking and you need a tire that's gonna have some additional traction compared to like your regular factory tires. That's where this trail terrain is really gonna excel. So if you're looking to go just uh, overlanding and camping and you're looking to get to some of those remote areas uh, and you don't necessarily know if the tires you have now are gonna get you there, well, the trail terrain is a perfect tire for that because you can still air down a little bit get some additional traction and not have to worry about these failing on you unless you're really doing some hardcore off-roading and you're getting into some gnarly stuff which if that's the case the trail terrain tire is not for you in that case you'd be looking for the bfg ko2 that tire is where uh, anybody's looking to modify their vehicle put a lift on it and and do some moderate to hardcore off-roading that's where the ko2 performs and excels the trail terrain is meant for the crossover vehicle, the SUV, the medium duty pickup trucks like Tacomas and Rangers and Canyons, the uh, Chevy Colorados. So light duty pickup trucks with very little off-roading in mind, unless there may be logging trails or two tracks where you're really not gonna have to worry too much about having all that additional traction and strength of a tire. You know, in those types of situations where you just want to get rid of maybe the factory tires, the OE tires that came on your vehicle, and you're looking to get something that you're going to spend 90% or 95% on the road with, the Trail Terrain's a great tire there. So if you're looking to do some more hardcore off-roading, then obviously the KO2 is the way to go there. But the Trail Terrain is that perfect crossover tire where it's gonna offer some additional advantages for that off-road traction. Because let's face it, that trail going into the woods or that trail going down to the lake might not always be in the same condition every time you go to use it. So you may need a little bit more aggressive of a tire, but then again, you're doing 90% of your driving on the road. So road comfort is really important to you. You want a tire that's going to offer good fuel economy, good traction on the road, comfortability. It's going to be quiet. It's um, going to last a long time. It's going to have a 60,000 mile warranty. All of those things BFG had in mind when they were designing and engineering this new trail terrain. So it's really a great dual purpose tire where you're going to be spending 90% or more of your time on the road. So I'm really excited to get to show you guys our progression with these tires, how well they perform. I think we'll check back in maybe after 10,000 miles or so. I don't think 5,000 is gonna be quite enough time to really give you a good solid first review on these tires. I think once we hit that 10,000 mark, we'll give you a really good review on how well they've been performing. And plus, I know we'll have some off-road miles on them at that point and uh, really be able to show you guys just how well these tires really work because 
We have not had a chance, obviously, just getting them put on to get them off-road, but I really want to get them off-road, get them in the gravel, get them in the dirt, uh, hopefully find some mud, and maybe some more, a little bit more moderately aggressive trails to go down to show you guys how much traction they have, and hopefully some situations where we can air down and uh, really put these tires to the test. But not like they're designed for that. However, if you do get yourself into a circumstance like that, uh, you'll still have a tire that can get you out of those situations. If you're really, again, if you're really looking for an aggressive tire or a tire where you know you're gonna be doing more driving off-road than on-road, then obviously KO2, or if you're really looking to get aggressive, then the KM3 is the way to go there. So uh, hopefully that gave you guys some really good insight on these new BFG trail terrains. I'm pretty excited about them. You can check them out right on our website, obviously trailbuiltoffroad.com and we'll have the pricing, we'll have the availability, uh, we'll have all the different specs, and they are gonna be releasing these tires in different stages for different sizes too. So there's a big lot that just got released. Those are gonna be the initial sizes that they have, and then in about a few months from now, they're gonna be offering more sizes and uh, different load indexes and speed indexes and different things like that, and then after uh, a couple more months they're going to be releasing their third lot of sizes at that point so make sure and keep an eye out for them and like i said if you guys are looking for that really great sort of dual purpose uh, hybrid crossover tire where you're doing most of your driving on the road but you do get that occasional itch to go off-roading the trail terrain is a perfect tire for that so otherwise if you guys do have any further questions on them or even if you guys have any other input on them definitely make sure and let us know in the comments below other than that guys we definitely appreciate all of you for watching and all of your support i'm josh from trail Built, and we'll see you guys out on the trails <laughs>